this is Stephanie with the Department of Natural Resources and I'm going to show you how to complete your 2012-2013 Maryland Monthly Clam Report. I'm going to report for the month of October and I'm only going to be holding a license for razor clams. So I'm going to mark razor clams on the form. I'm going to re report the first day of harvest which would be the first of October for me. The number of bushels or boxes that I harvest would be 24 in this example, and I'm going to sell mine for bait. So I will fill in bait here. I'm going to be harvesting in the Patuxent River. And I'll show you where to find out more information about where caught and nearest point of land and direction. Here is your 2012-2013 shellfish closure area book that you received from your service center. Now we know we were harvesting in the Patuxent River. When we look on the charts. This is chart number 26 in the Patuxent River. I come down here to the bottom, middle Patuxent River. That's on page 58 and 59. So I open my book up to page 58 and I can see a map here of the middle Patuxent River. And while it's okay to report Patuxent River as your harvest area, the more specific information you can give us, the better. So if you know you were harvesting near Brooms Island or Peterson's Point, or that you were harvesting in the area of bar number seven here, that is very helpful. So I know bar number seven was a place I was near. I come over to here, bar number seven is Gatton. And while I'm not allowed to harvest on Gatton bar itself, writing Gatton on my harvest report gives us helpful information. Here I've gone ahead and put in the rest of the harvest information for October. I've completed the other dates of harvest, the number of bushels that I harvest, and here because they're razor clams, I sold them as bait, and that was all month long. I was harvesting in the Patuxent River, but we wanted to be more specific, so I put in Brooms Island, Gatton, and Peterson's Point. I had two people as crew all month long. I spent a different number of hours each day, these were sold to crabbers all month long, and I landed my catch at Solomon's. After I finished completing my harvest, I come down to the bottom of the form where I can complete my license number, my vessel registration number, I would print my name, and be sure to sign my form. All right, in this example, I'm going to be a clammer who holds a license for all three species of clams. But because I'm only reporting harvest for hard clams, I actually have to fill out two different reports. The first report I'm going to have is for hard clams in the month of October. And I'm going to complete this for the month. So my first day of harvest was the first of the month. I harvested six bushels. I'm going to be selling these for food. And I'm going to go and fill in that I was harvesting in Chincoteague. I had two people as crew. I spent six hours harvesting and I sold them to this dealer, and I landed in Ocean. Now I'll go back and show you how to find out more information about Chincoteague and where to get that information. Here we have our Maryland Shellfish Closure Area Book that you got from your service center. We're going to look inside. We'll find the area that we were harvesting over here on Chincoteague Bay. We find that that's chart 51. So I come down here to the bottom list. I see chart 51 is Upper Chincoteague Bay, page 108 to 109. So I flip to that page. Here is the Chincoteague Bay. Like we said before, the more specific you can be about where you were harvesting, the better. So if I come up here to Newport Bay to harvest, or if I'm south down in Martin Point, putting that specific information on the form is very helpful. Okay, I've gone ahead and filled in the rest of the information for this month's harvest for October for hard clams, the rest of the days of harvest, 
the amount that I harvested, the fact that I sold it as food all month long. Here's the more specific information we looked up on the chart. The number of crew, the hours harvesting, the dealer license number that I used, and the Ocean City is where I landed my harvest all month long. After I finished filling in my harvest, I come down to the bottom of the form, and here I would complete my license number, my vessel registration number, and my name, and I'd be sure to sign my report. This is for my harvest in October. Now because I'm using an example where the license holder has licenses for all three species but I only harvested hard clams, I need to be sure to report for all the species that month. So I'm going to finish my reporting for October that for soft shell clams and for razor clams I did not harvest. So I'm going to write no harvest on my report. Then I come down to the bottom and there's a check here if no harvest and I did not harvest in the month of October. Now if I was not going to harvest in November, I could also write through November and we would automatically create a report for November for you. My license number goes up here, my vessel ID number, printing my name and then making sure I sign my name. Now I've completed my full reporting for all three species for the month of October and into November.